Hello OnePlus Nord users, I am Divakar back with another new cool video and in this video I am going to unbox OnePlus Nord Oxygen OS 11 most stable edition. Here is the Oxygen OS 11.1.4.4 update and looks like this is the most stable update for OnePlus Nord till now. At least after Oxygen OS 11 update. So without wasting any more for the time, let's get started. First of all, you can install this update from OxygenOS Updater app. Just get into the app settings and turn on advanced mode and select your phone and select stable, full or incremental based on your choice. There was an issue in the app, stable full update package was replaced by stable incremental. Now it's fixed, don't worry. Once you download the file, go to the settings, uh, then select system updates and then select the downloaded file in local upgrade. And if you don't want to do all this work, then wait for the official rollout from OnePlus. Once the installation process gets completed, we get the button for which we were waiting since a year. All bugs gone, extended battery life, no heating, no connectivity issues. No, 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 I'm not telling this, OnePlus is telling that. Let's check them out once we reboot our phone. Firstly, we are in the June security patch update, talking about the display, refresh rate is fine, though I couldn't feel the smoothness while changing the brightness. Those guys who are asking me about the tint issue. I don't want to talk about this in future videos also because this can't be fixed by software updates and this is forever. Though OnePlus has increased the minimum brightness of the phone to reduce the visibility of the tint. Now dark theme means dark, it's good to see after several updates. Now performance. Phone scores 597 in single core and 1783 in multi core in Geekbench test. We can't trust OnePlus based on the scores because recently OnePlus 9 got delisted from Geekbench for manipulating the apps to increase the score. Again this is not the first time, it did it way past with the OnePlus 3, 5, 7 and now with OnePlus 9. And I guess OnePlus likes odd number as 1 from OnePlus is also an odd number. Now leaving the numerology behind and due to Geekbench all this at one side, PUBG on another side, I mean 4G, sorry BGMI. So let's test it out. Talking about the gaming performance, I can give you a hint guys, Oxygen OS 10, PUBG players now come and join Oxygen OS 11 BGMI. No no no, don't take it seriously, I have just played it for 15 minutes, wait for the review video. Talking about the battery, OnePlus says now it has extended battery life. Wait a minute. Hey Oppo Plus, sorry OnePlus, want only did you reduce the battery life in the previous updates? Okay guys leave. But I can't tell much about this now, wait for the review video of this update. And for that to happen, drop 50 likes and I'm making it for you for sure. Talking about the temperature, I guess heating has been reduced a bit. But for this, again, you need to wait for few more days to know. At last, notification issue has been resolved, someone should be getting promoted for this and he's throwing a party for our subscribers so don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Oh, this was the awkward way to ask you to subscribe. By the way, thanks Oppo for helping OnePlus. Lastly, I'll talk about OnePlus before let's wrap this up. I'm running on 20 megabits Wi Fi plan, so let's check out the internet speeds. When the Bluetooth device is connected, it's approximately 18 Mbps, and when it is disconnected, it is oh my god, what kind of glitch is this? It's around 19 Mbps, so 125 Kbps fall in speed. Okay, it's good, it's fine, lucky the phone has got some grace marks. The camera application is updated, shutter lag has been reduced and captured photos now won't disappear and reappear as it was happening in previous updates. Now you can see post photo AI enhancements, like it's good to see this. Now I won't accidentally delete the previous videos. Still, gallery application is in its own multiverse. It took too much time to delete 6 photos and I have taken this granted so that I won't get disappointed next time. Overall system and user experience is good. This was the update I was waiting for and I guess there won't be any stable update for next 2 months until and unless if you find any big bugs come out from this update. Recently I had a chat with CBT guy and got to know that OnePlus has called off some stable updates in between. So that's why here we are with the uh, Oxygen OS 11.1.4.4 update. 
and now talking about the oneplus oneplus has put his finger everywhere from samsung to geekbench getting trolled from everywhere merging with oppo upcoming not to mediatek collaboration there are so many things to talk if you want me to talk about what's going with oneplus in detail in a separate video let me know and for that to happen 100 likes on this video and i'll do it based on your interest Finally, if you haven't joined our OnePlus Nord Telegram discussion group, you can join from the link in the description box below. I would like to take your views on regarding this update and much about the OnePlus. Also, follow us on Instagram. We upload cool posts and reels there. That's pretty much everything that you would ask for in this video. Hope you guys like it. If yes, don't forget to drop a like, share this video with OnePlus friends and family and also subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon to get notified when our next video gets premiered on our channel. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Divaka signing off and I'll meet you in the next one. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye bye.